primary task of an SDO is keeping your operations on track. It's making sure that everyone's in the right place when the mail comes in, doing the right things at the right time. When I first come in, I check with the supervisor that's on hand and find out where we're at as far as the machines, how many runs we have left, how much mail we have to prep. I've got my time frames I gotta make sure that I stay within so I can make sure that we get our mail out on a timely manner so we can service our customers. I talk to the people on the previous tour, see where we're at, see what conditions I'm walking into, so that way I can make my schedule and appropriate the amount of resources that I need. Most of the problems are workforce problems, not having enough staffing or having a machine go down or having you know transportation problems. It's a tough job and it's strenuous and so we face it every day and we have deadlines and service needs that have to be met. You have to demonstrate what you want out of your employee. You want your employees to come to work, you have to demonstrate that you can come to work on time as scheduled. Some days the jobs are hard and some days the days are long but there's always reward at the end of the day. I know a lot of the times, you know, I'm supervising an operation, I'm like, oh, I just want to get in there, I want to help and try and get the mail out, but it's not always possible. Going from working with my coworkers on a daily basis to now all of a sudden managing or supervising the coworkers, it was hard to separate work from friendship, make sure I had to keep it professional. Because we have so many different employees, so many different ages, the biggest challenge is to get all your employees engaged. It surprised me how much just the simple things can motivate these guys that have been around for years to get involved. It's what you make it. So you set the tone of your operation. You go in with a positive attitude. Your employees feed off of that. Employee engagement. It's a big part of the Postal Service. It's a big part of our process and meeting our needs and our standards. When I first started here at the Postal Service, I was a letter carrier. And I knew immediately I wanted to be in management. I saw the opportunities that were available to me and I wanted to pursue them. And I've never regretted it throughout my entire career. As you uh, learn how to be a more effective leader uh, and more engaging leader, folks tend to respect your leadership capabilities. You know, you can see something in someone and nurture it and, and mentor those guys. And then to see them succeed is a, is a big satisfaction for me. It's actually very rewarding now to come in and actually have some knowledge to give back. The fact that I come to work and it is never like the day before. Every day is different. You never have to worry about doing the same thing over and over and over again. Working nights was what I needed with my family. So being able to work nights and still promote within the company was an excellent benefit for me. Having a flexibility with my shift was really nice. I have children, so it was easy for me to say what days off I needed, what events I could attend. The income is definitely an incentive. There is a lot of flexibility with your hours as well as your off days. I'm looking forward to you know moving up, trying different things, going different places. If the craft level jobs are not for you, then leadership is a great opportunity uh, to expand your horizons and still contribute to the organization in, in a great way. You know, now I just want to just keep advancing and being the best I can be in this organization. I'm trying to be involved, get my hands on everything, and just, you know, keep going to the top. Like I said, the sky is the limit.